Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So I want to continue the dialogue on the expectations of women, especially women who are middle-aged. Mm -hmm. I know, Amber, you and I were talking about that. Mm -hmm. And and I told you, what is middle-aged? I, I, I don't know. I mean, oh, okay. I, I was hoping we had to no, clarify. No, but that's, but that's what, what I'm wondering. Okay. Is, it's like, how are we even, you know, classifying middle-aged now if, you know, 30 is the new 20, is right. middle-aged 60? Wisdom. Mm. Mm. When you got that wisdom. Well, I got the wisdom, but I'm not middle age. I'm, not, I'm not ashamed of my age, though, no, but I, I did turn 34. So I don't know if is that middle age. I you're mean, on the brink of it. You're not getting on middle age. age. No, no, no. Break of you don't hit middle age until you're like about 20, 45. Girl. Cheryl, are you middle age? Uh, no, um, I'm right here with Amber. <laughs> well, you're not going but, <laughs> so, yeah, but, I mean, like, but I am looking into the rim. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking <laughs> over the, the edge. I will tell you, it is 45. It is the forgotten stage of a woman's age. life. Mm, 45. 45. What do you mean it's forgotten? Because oh our God, role has changed so much. <laughs> yeah. Our roles have changed. Our mothers used to be younger. Yeah. They used to, how, how, how old are your moms? My mom is still in her 60s. Wow. Do you know how many moms I know who are in their 60s that have teenage kids? Mm -hmm. Middle age has changed. Well, because we, we had our forgotten careers class. before wow. the family, then they had a family later in life, and mm -hmm. now middle age just happened and we're in a whole nother place of our lives. By I'm not. It's changed because of technology and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So everybody's but trying to absolutely. stay young, they have a computer. And it depends I mean, on what culture you grew up in yeah. and yeah. What, what technology you live with. But mm -hmm. Cheryl, I wonder, do you have any sense of the expectations that you're, you know, Facing. You just got a new house. Yes. Oh, um, I mean, that's a huge yeah. responsibility. Yes. And I want your job. Rub, like, rub on. <laughs> I need a house. Um, well, I know. I think. I think. I'm, I'm not middle aged, but I think that moment when your responsibilities increase exponentially. Mm. Um, like for example, my mom is also in her 60s. Um, fortunately, the later half of the 60s. I say fortunately because my dad passed away when he was 66. Mm. So to even just surpass that, I think is a good thing. But then I look at her and it's like. Um, she's independent now, but I can, you know, I, I can see the, you know, the aging starting to set in, and yeah. you know, I, I know that, like, we're, my sister and I live nearby, and we're trying to get her to move closer to us because so you can look in after so her. So we can look in on her. I mean, she's already been a cardiac patient, so we've already had to look after her in that response. Mm -hmm. And um, fortunately, you know, she's, you know, she's healed from that, but, but we always worry. Do you have Anna, a fear of taking care of your mom, or? You know what? No, because I'm, <laughs> I'm fortunate that we have enough family resources that we can get her the care oh, she okay. needs. But yeah. Anna's been looking after several of members mom. of yeah. your family. Yeah. Well, I take care of my mom. She's young, and I, I feel, I don't know if it's being the whole Latina, Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. I don't know, no, it, but it, it, I just feel like the necessity that no matter what, even if I had my own family, I still got to take care of her. Right. Like, I, I, I don't know. Well, yes, yeah, she, no, she's I have a mom. confession, though. Recently, you know, I found out my father was stabbed. And in that, I got fearful because I was like, oh, my goodness, I have to take care of this man. What if I have to take okay. care of him? What if he's dead? What if I have to bury him? Mm -hmm. You know, how can you handle all of that? You know, he doesn't have any resources that I know of that will be able to take care of him. So that was that fear of like, what do I do when I have to go find him? Or, if, you know, I don't I mean, know. What, what do you do? What kind of expectations do you have? I, I really don't have any expectations of him. So I just kind of feel like it's kind of like me going to search for someone who I don't know. But you have that. But like it's just, you feel you got you to. Feel right, but I feel as a child, and this is my as parent, that's that's I have to go out and go and try and find him. You so know? it's our obligation then as children to become parents to our parents at some point. I think yeah. I just oh, go okay. way back yeah, well, to when, in we, the, were, in when the we were younger. Asian culture, right. that's kind of built in that usually it's the first, the oldest child, preferably the oldest son, oh, that good. is going to take oh, care of mom and dad. It's built in. It's built in in that culture. So unfortunately, I'm the oldest, so right now I live with my mom. Okay. And, and the oldest son, which is my brother. Okay, so, oh. then, I, so then I have a question. What if it's al it's almost like an indirect parenting relationship? Like, for example, mm -hmm. what if you had to take care of your husband's parents? How does that Ooh. impact you? Because I know I, I they're on the, their own. The, the relationship I just got out. <laughs> they're of, on their own. The relationship I just got out of. You know, my ex, my, you know, my ex boyfriend. He was the oldest son um, of eight, but his parents and were largely dependent of on him and I I just looked at my future that's a that, huge I looked at my future of you know especially you know taking care of his mom right. and she has daughters mm -hmm. but quite frankly I felt like the the burden of her care was going to fall to me and the uh, the prospect of that was well I, I think the whole mm -hmm. prospect of those obligations expectations is terrifying I can hardly mm -hmm. handle my life as it is in my 20s but to be expected to care for my own family my husband and my parents and I mean and they're my husband's parents 
my God, it sounds like hell. I don't know how any woman could balance those expectations. I really yeah. don't. But you know, I think sometimes do it. what people do it forget is men go through a midlife crisis. Mm. And we yeah. all acknowledge it. We're not alone in this. But women go through one too, and we ignore it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Either well, that or we suck it up. Ladies, <laughs> I, I definitely want to continue this conversation when we get back from this break.